Welcome! In this video we are going to show you the steps that we recommend you take for logging on and interacting with the Adobe Connect Live Webcast. This video was made to answer many of the questions you may have, whether you are a first time student or have taken other Get Wired classes from Weka. So let's get started! Before we begin, Weka recommends that you use Mozilla Firefox when interacting with Adobe Connect. You may download Firefox from their website or by clicking the Firefox logo within the video which will take you to their download page. It is also recommended that you make sure that your Adobe Flash Player and Adobe Connect app are up to date. You can check this by clicking the link in this video, which will navigate you to the Adobe Connect Diagnostic Test. Before opening your web browser to access eCampus, it is recommended that you plug in your headset and wait for approximately 30 seconds to a minute. By doing this, it will allow the computer to properly recognize and configure the device for use. Next, you'll want to make sure that your headset is set as the default device and that your microphone level is configured correctly. For Windows 7 users, this is done through the control panel. To access the control panel, click on the Start button, then select Control Panel on the lower right portion of the Start menu. Once in Control Panel, you'll navigate to and click on the Hardware and Sound link. Once in the Hardware and Sound, you'll want to click the Sound link, which will open up the Sound Properties box. For Windows 8 and 10 users, you can do this by clicking on the Start button and then selecting the Settings button from the Start menu. Once in Settings, you'll want to select the Devices link. Within the Devices menu, you'll want to navigate to the right-hand side of the screen and then select the Sound Settings. This will bring up the Sound Properties box. In the Sound Properties box, you'll see your headset as well as any other sound device you may have. To select your headset as a default playback device, simply click the USB PNP sound device and then click the Set Default button. You will then navigate to the Recordings tab and proceed to highlight the USB PNP sound device and click the Set Default button. To ensure your microphone level is configured correctly, you can click to highlight the USB PNP sound device and then click the Properties button. Once in the Microphone Properties, navigate and click on the Levels tab. In the Levels menu, you will see the output level for your microphone. Please make sure that the level is set to at least 50% and that the microphone is not muted, which may be denoted by a red cancel sign on the speaker button. Once these steps have been done, hit apply and then OK to save the settings and exit out of the microphone and sound properties. By following these steps, you will now have your headset configured as a default device and your microphone functioning properly. After you've plugged in your headset and configured it as a default device, you'll want to log on to eCampus. The web address for eCampus is ecampus.goeca.com. To log on, please enter your ID number in the username section. By default, unless otherwise changed, your password is set to the last six digits of your social security number. Once you're logged into eCampus, you'll see the course you're taking under the Course Overview section. To access the class, click on the link. This will take you to the main classroom page. On the main classroom page, you'll see the link to the Adobe Connect Live Webcast. Click on this link, which will bring you to the login page for the Adobe Connect Webcast. Please make sure you are logging in as a guest and that you provide your first and last name before entering the webcast. Your first and last name is what your instructor will use to take attendance during the class session. Failure to log in with your first and last name may result in missed credit for the class session. Once you have entered the webcast room, you will want to run the audio setup wizard. This will ensure that you will be able to hear the instructor and classmates, as well as be able to communicate with them when called upon. To run the audio setup wizard, navigate your mouse to the top left hand corner of the webcast window. There will be a drop down menu located when clicking on the word meeting. Once the drop down menu opens, click audio setup wizard. Please note that while running the audio setup wizard, a pop-up may appear asking for permission to access your microphone. Please be sure to hit allow when this occurs. Within the audio setup wizard, it will run you through the testing and configuration of your headset for the class session. It will ask you to play sounds to ensure you're able to hear out of the headset, select your headset's microphone, as well as test it to make sure it works. It will also run a silence test to keep unnecessary background noise from being recorded when you speak. After completing this, your headset should be ready to use throughout the class session. The final part of this video is to demonstrate being called on by your instructor. This will happen periodically throughout each of your class sessions and is used by your instructor to ensure you are keeping pace with the coursework. When an instructor calls on you, they will give you the ability to use your mic to answer their question. This is shown by a microphone icon appearing next to your name, 
as well as a microphone icon appearing next to the sound icon at the top of the webcast window. When this occurs, you'll want to click the microphone icon located next to the sound icon. Once clicked, the microphone icon will then turn green, which indicates that your microphone is broadcasting. We hope this tutorial provides you with the information needed for a successful experience during your class meetings. If technical issues arise during your class session, technical support will be available to help answer any questions you have. Thank you.